Science Beetle. Hey, welcome back students to Math 101. This is Dr. D and today we're going to be talking about name, number place values. Now, uh, I don't presume to, know, to say that uh, any of you don't know this, but uh, this is probably mostly review for many of you. And so what we're going to do is just uh, jump right in. And let's say that we come up with this number of, oh, I don't know, let's just throw 2, 8, 3, 1. And when we take this number, the one thing that many of us kind of take for granted is at the end of this number, there is a decimal point. We usually don't write it, especially when we're just writing the number of 2831, partially because we're not concerned about the numbers that come afterwards. But what I do want to make sure that you understand is that even if you write this number as a 2831, keep in mind that there is always, always, always going to be a decimal there. That decimal does exist. And it, and it is there at the end of every single number, regardless of whether you write the number as a 41, a 2, a 1, a 1,580,211. 1, that decimal is at the very end of each of this. So it's at the end of the 41, it's at the end of the 2, it's at the end of the 1, and it's at the end of this 1,580,211. The number, the decimal is always there in each of these cases. Okay, so it's important that you recognize that regardless of how you write the number, the decimal is always there. And why is the decimal always there? Because the decimal kind of gives you place value. Essentially, it says that every everything to the left, and so let's go ahead and draw this So here, and we're going to say to the left is over here, and everything over here is going to be to the right. And so everything to the left is going to be a whole number. So if you go this way of the decimal, it's going to be whole number. And if you go to the right of a decimal, this is going to be less than 1. And essentially what this is saying is the same thing is going to be that this is going to be a fraction. Now we're going to get into fractions a little bit later, but for now, uh, just know that uh, all the numbers here to the right of the decimal are going to be less than 1. All right. So if we were to have this number as a, for example, 2A31, point one two three what are the values associated with these well let's explore that a bit essentially what we're saying here is if we look at this decimal we know that we're going to have values either to the left or to the right we know that the ones to the left are going to be whole numbers and we know that the ones to the right are going to be less than one but to what degree well let's begin on the left hand side first so we're saying that the one in here is going to have a value the three is going to have a value the 8 is going to have a value, and the 2 is going to have a value. Let me make these progressively longer. Okay. And by the same token, we are also saying that the 1 is going to have a value to the right of the decimal, the 2 is going to have a value to the right of the decimal, as well as the 3 is going to have a value to the right of the decimal. And let's explore these. So to the left of the decimal, the first number is going to be in the 1's spot. And so... Essentially what that means is that you in increase value here in increments of 1 up to 9, in which case you then enter the second place value, which is held by the 3, and the 3 is in the tens value. And so that means that the increments here increase by 10, so it goes from 10, 20, 30, so on and so forth, until you get to 90, and when you increment to 90 to 1 more, it goes to 100, and that goes down to the hundreds place that is held by the 8. And so the 8 here is in the hundreds position. Okay? And you increment here uh, by hundred, so you go 100, 200, 300, so forth, until you get to the 900, in which case when you add one more hundred to that mix, you get 1,000. And the 2 is indicating that this, the 2 is holding the place value of the thousands. And the way we read this, just, just for the, the sake of, of doing this, the way we read a number is very different than the way we actually assign value. When we assign value, we begin um, here at the decimal point, and we move to the left when we're talking about whole numbers. However, when we're actually reading the number, we read it from left to right. So excluding everything to the right of the decimal for now, let's just say that all, all we're really interested in is going to be this section. 
So we would read this number as 2,831. And again, acknowledging as we go through the place value of each of the numbers. Now let's take a look at the numbers to the right of the decimal. The, the numbers denoted by 1, 2, and 3. The value held by the number 1 to the right of the decimal is going to be in the, what we call the tenths, with the THS at the very end. And essentially this is equal to the whatever the number was divided by 10. So in this particular case, uh, the value here would be equal to 1 divided by 10. Okay. The number 2, the second spot to the right of the decimal, has the value of hundredths. And it too then would have a value of whatever the number was in that place divided by 100. In this particular case, it would be 2 divided by 100. And the 3, the third value to the right of the decimal, would have the value set of thousandths. And let me write that for you which would also have a value of whatever the number was divided by 1,000. And in this particular case, this is going to be 3 divided by 1,000. Okay? And so as you can see and you can compare, one of the main differences is as you move to the right of the decimal, the numbers become increasingly smaller the further to the right that you move. And the numbers to the left of the decimal become increasingly larger than 1 as you, the further left you move. And so that's a very key thing that you should know about. And in, in later lessons, we'll talk a little bit about estimating and rounding, but what I want you to pay attention for this one here is that if you look at the numbers to the right, you know that the number is not very big at all, especially since you know that the value here is, is going to be 1 um, divided by 10, which is a very small amount in comparison to 1. So anyway, we'll cut it there. Join us at the next lesson. Subscribe, and we'll see you soon.